Are we rolling? Okay, good. Um, Florida Explorer here. We're at the ghost town of Centralia, or more specifically, we're at the lumber mill, which, uh, the lumber mill ruins, which uh, supported the ghost town of Centralia. The ghost town of Centralia is probably a few hundred yards south of here, uh, by all accounts, on uh, what is known as Lake Took. Um, and I think that's, you know, and I don't know 100%, but that's my gut instinct. Obviously, people didn't live right on these grounds. This is the, the sawmill that supported it. Um, over a period, in the early 20th century, over a period of uh, 10 or 15 years, the lumber company and the people that worked for them uh, managed to cut down, they managed to deforest this entire area of uh, 2,000 and 3,000 year old cypress trees. Um, which to us now sounds like an ecological disaster, but back then it was just them trying to make a living, trying to build homes. Everything was built off of, uh, off of wood. Cedar was a really, or rather cypress, uh, was a really good building wood. Um, so it was shipped throughout, I imagine the entire Southeast, probably the, the whole country. But um, the town, the lumber mill supported a town of uh, 2,000 people upwards of, uh, which was in this area. and. Um, They had a schoolhouse, theater, streets. I mean, it wasn't just a, a camp, a mining camp or something like that. It was, it was, they had structures, and I'd love to be able to find those someday. someday. However, this is right now what we, what we have found. These uh, huge concrete structures in the background are probably uh, held saw blades. Um, I'm sure there would have been uh, wooden structures, like, like a warehouse or something like that. Up above, they wouldn't have just done this out in the out in the uh, out in the heat or whatever out in the, the the bare woods. They would have they would have had a wooden structure built around this, and probably you know that's all gone, obviously. Um, over here we have foundation remains of something, clearly some sort of structure um, that would have had something to do with it. It wouldn't have been a house, but it's very, as you can see. It's just three or four bricks across. Uh, it, it levels off here. So here would have been where they would have built the wood up, as you see in so many of these other instances. And you can see some more of it over there. So it extended beyond over there. Um, back back through at least a good 30 yards anyway. Uh, over that way, and we're going to check that out. What these huge big mounds are, we don't know right now. They may have come afterwards. Um, then over here, the other really neat thing, one of the other two really neat things we found so far uh, today is, uh, and I don't even know what they call this, I've seen it before, but I can't name it, but it's basically a slide. They would use this to drag the cypress. They cut the cypress trees down over there, drag them up over through the man-made lake, and then drag them up over into this area along these these uh, long rectangular uh, concrete pieces and I'm sure these all these pipes would have all housed some sort of pulley system or winching system or something like that to, to drag these massive things up if we do any kind of research at all on this thing these trees that grow 3,000 years or 2,000 years are I mean 30 40 50 feet across straight across that's a massive mother of a tree um, they would have brought it up here to where they could start to, to mill it for shipping out and of course they're not too far from a major thoroughfare we're not uh most people know anybody that anybody with a computer can find out where centralia is basically so that's not a secret but this area that we're standing in is very much a secret and we're not uh divulging that and we're not going to give that information out to anybody there's somebody that i know that gave it to me that i swore on pain of death that i would not divulge and of course i won't uh uh, for obvious reasons, people, monkeys and yahoos come back here and just start tearing stuff up, have no appreciation for the history of nature. Um, but suffice to say that, that this is near uh, a railroad line that, that would have been uh, used to transport um, the wood once it was milled. It was milled right here. Um, I don't know how much of it you can see on camera, but we came back to there about 100 or so yards, and there are all 
there's a bunch of these little uh, pylon stanchions, whatever, with pipes sticking out of them. They either house some sort of, uh, I mean, they held, they would have held some winching or pulling system, or they would have been supports for some, you know, some sort of, obviously they were supports of some kind. So, um, you know, that's very compelling as well. Don't know much about early 20th century lumber production, but we do know that we're standing in the middle of, of what this area was based on. This is what these people came here for. This is what the lumber company came here for. Um, this is what they did. So we're going to uh, try not to die from blood loss to mosquitoes and uh, continue to explore this area a little bit, uh, extensively photograph it. And um, it's almost 6 o'clock now and hopefully get out of here a lot. Florida Explorer and the ever-present, effervescent, lovely research assistant are out.